At these stages, we started implementing the final touches to our shot. We noticed that our ground looked very dull. Usually, in rocky environments, there is a lot of uneven terrain. To achieve a more natural look, let's first add a displacement texture, generally used to add displaced surfaces. You will notice that we need to add a texture that will define the exact way our surface is going to be displaced. In our case, we want to create an indent around the stones and vegetation. And here, the new distance texture shines. The distance texture takes the selected objects, in our case the stones and the vegetation, and pushes the terrain further away from them. As you can see, we started getting uneven terrain around the objects, exactly what we wanted. But right now, it seems that the indentations are too thin, and the effect of the displacement is not very visible. You can control the radius of the affected area from here. Right now, the terrain around the objects looks very sharp. To get a smoother definition of the displaced terrain, we can use a Bezier curve that will soften the edges of the displacement texture. I will adjust the Bezier curve like this. Making a rounder curve causes the edges of our displacement to be smoother. I think this looks much better. Following the same steps, I managed to spread out this grass geometry. The distance texture is a powerful tool that has unlimited cases, from terrain manipulation to road making.